I've been getting a lot of requests on how I managed to stay really consistent and be constantly improving my video quality and do all these product reviews without losing my mind because there's a lot of stuff going on, right? There's products, there's deadlines, there's sponsored videos, there's all this stuff that needs to happen. And I do this by really maintaining my systems, improving my systems, being organized and coming up with ways that things can just be more automatic instead of floating around in my brain where ideas can get lost. And I do this by using productivity systems such as Taskade. Thank you to Taskade for sponsoring this video. I've been using Taskade for about a month now to keep track of products, to create video ideas, and to plan all of my videos. Taskade pretty much works on everything and anything. It works on Chrome, your phone, Android, Mac, Apple, iOS, everything pretty much can use Taskade, whether it's a phone app, tablet app, web app, PC app, whatever. And the greatest thing about that is I could just take it on my phone, use a checklist function and not have to go back to my computer over and over and over again, because that can really waste a lot of time. But anyways, let's jump into Taskade. Okay, so when you first open Taskade, you're gonna have to sign in and I log in with my Google account or whatever. And you start with this team workspace. And I made a new workspace for myself and I called it the Betty Video Tracker. And in there, that's where all of my ideas exist. That's where completed videos exist. That's just where things are organized. There's different ways that you can view these projects such as, but I use it pretty straightforwardly. Now this is all free unless you want to store files that are more than five megabytes in size and under 250 megabytes, then it's $5 a month which is a really affordable plan for a productivity app that does so much. But first, we need some coffee, so I'll be right back. ready to plan out a video. In this video, we'll be planning out another video. So I guess it's like video section, but we'll be taking a look at the Drop X Sennheiser PC 37X. Had this for about a month and a half now. Been using it here and there to play games, but haven't really had the time to take notes on it yet. So that's what we're doing today. Now, the best thing about Taskade is probably the templates. And that's what I value the most out of this productivity app. Any productivity app where you can do repeated things automatically really easily like that is really beneficial, especially for YouTube. On YouTube, you make videos and you make videos over and over and over and over again. So there are going to be processes that are exactly the same every single time, rather than keeping that on a written checklist or in your brain somewhere that you can forget. Like that one time I forgot to turn on the recorder or the one time I forgot to use the clapboard and I could couldn't sync it in post. Like there's a lot of things here that need to happen for this to happen the way that it's happening. And Taskade really helps you out by doing that. Now you can go ahead and make your own template, which is what I did. And I'm gonna share this video template down below that you can just copy and use as your own, or you can go in here and make your own template. Now there are templates that you can just browse right straight off of their Taskade website. They have everything from team review, meeting notes, mind maps, engineering stuff, production stuff, music, songwriting, monthly calendars. There's back to school checklist. There are so many templates in here. However, for me, none of these pre-built things are gonna help me out. Sure, they're great as inspiration. If you're not sure how you want to organize a certain thing, such as like your semester of school planner or something like that, you can take this as inspiration and then personalize it for your own benefit, which is what you can do here. But I already made one, so we'll be going over it. 
course it is down below if you want to check that out and follow along. If you're doing YouTube, this could be something that's super helpful. When I first started, I had handwritten checklist that I put into the scanner and made a bunch of copies. I had a pre-production or a pre-film checklist. I had a film checklist. I had an editing checklist and I have a publishing checklist. So a lot of things to keep track of there, but I pinpointed exactly like what's super automatic to me that I don't forget ever. And what are some things that I could forget that could turn these videos into a disaster. So let's check out the template down below. Open that right up if you want. All right, first we got important information and this is the date of filming. I like to know this because I have an editor and he needs to know what day I film stuff so that he knows how much time he has to edit before the video goes live. So he edits about one video a week, whereas I edit everything else. The time of publish is always going to be 9 a.m. Central time, which is why this is already pre-populated. So this one's really important. Do I need to email anyone when it publishes if I have a product sent to me that I need to review, if it's a sponsored video, anything like that. So I usually schedule an email out exactly when the video is ready. And the editor, it's probably me. It's usually me, sometimes it's Carl. The filming checklist I made myself is pretty important here. There's different aspects of film that need to be completed before I press record. And that's exactly what it is right here. So there's a key light over there that keeps me well lit. There's a light right here that fills up the shadows. There's an RGB light back there. And then there's a little rim light back there too. So I could include that one. So that one's on there now and that this is forever saved into the template. So the next time I use this template, all this will be on there. So for camera settings, I've got ISO 400, film in cine style, check my white balance so that things don't adjust themselves as I'm filming, so it makes color grading easier, 24 FPS for A roll, 60 for B roll if I want slow-mo, check the shutter speed, double the FPS, aperture I usually go for lowest as possible, and then I make sure to autofocus on my face because you know I've had videos where it's not auto to focus on my face and pretty much everything is in focus except me and that's really awkward to have then you try and lay on all the b-roll so no one no notices that you're not in focus so that's really important we got audio settings microphone right here that needs to be moved out of the frame connect it to the recorder if it's not connected that's really awkward i usually connect the headset to the recorder, monitor my audio, just make sure everything's audible. No super loud hissing sounds or any crazy things going on like that. If there's construction across the road, can you guys hear that? Things that I need to know and keep track of before I press record. Gotta fill in my slate details. This helps sync in post. You never hear this because it's super annoying and it it's cut out before every video, but every time I restart the camera, got to restart the recorder and I have to sync it in post. Thumbnail pictures, I always have at least a few ideas against some bland, boring background. So we can remove the background, put in some interesting stuff, leave some space for words if we need to. And the best part about this checklist is that you can just close it especially when writing video notes. You don't wanna be scrolling down until that checklist is done. So this only happens before you press record. And then onto the video notes. Now this is where the bread and butter of each video are at. I come up with some interesting hook to say. So for this drop headset, I'd be something like, I've tried a lot of gaming headsets in my day, but this is the first time that I've had a gaming headset that is open back and by a company that is well regarded by audiophiles. Introducing the Drop X Sennheiser PC37X. Been using this for a few months now and we're gonna review it right here. Let's jump into it. So I type that in. All right, so that would be like an interesting hook that would go in here if this were a project and not a template. So don't type anything into your template because your template is going to be used from video to video, the exact same stuff. So all that we'll be working on pretty soon. Metadata, we've got title ideas, thumbnail ideas, anything that I need to include in the description and then some tags, but I really never fill this out. This is really just there. I rarely even use tags nowadays anyways, but that's the template 
You can use that if you want to. If not, you can make your own. Let's go into projects. All right, so in projects, you can see that I've got some video ideas here already. And then I've got some completed videos here already that I completed and they're done with. So we'll start a new project for the Dropbox Sennheiser PC37X. Just press new and then we'll go into our template. So it selects a template, it'll pre-populate everything. There's that checklist that we talked about earlier. But for now, let's close it. All right, so I'm editing this one. And I don't need to email anyone because I purchased it. I type down the hook that we had earlier. And then of course the intro will go something like, this is Betty from Switch and Click, blah, blah, blah. I got this, blah, blah, blah. The reason I got it and blah, blah, blah. So of course for content, we've always got what's in the box. All right, so obviously this part takes quite some time. I've got to check what's in the box. I've got to check the sound quality. I've got to listen to music while typing down my notes, listening to game sounds, and then filling all of this out. ETA stands for call to action. That'll usually be like, check out the link down below to check this product out if you want to. And that's pretty much the whole process. I'll brainstorm some ideas here and there. And then after everything is done here, then it's ready to be filmed. So here we can assign a due date. So if this video is going to be published on the 20th, you can do that, assign it to myself, but you can also assign it to other people too. I put in some tags here. You can create your own tags depending on what kind of video it is. So this is a headset review and that's pretty much the whole process. As you work with more and more people, one of the biggest benefits about Taskade is that you get to do live chat or start a call within the app itself. You can say, and that'll be seen right there, just like Discord or Slack or any other instant messenger like that. And that's really cool that it's in the app itself. Other productivity systems that I've worked with, I have to go into another communication app to communicate with someone else rather than within the productivity app itself. So that is really, really stinking cool. Hey guys, this is Betty from the future while editing this video. I forgot to mention that within the app itself, whether it's through the website app or the PC or tablet or phone or wherever, you can also do screen sharing as well as video conferencing straight within the app itself without any downloads needed, which is super, super awesome. All you need to do is start a call and allow the browser to access your microphone and camera. And that's pretty much it. You don't need to download any external software or anything. That's pretty darn cool. So you can do that. If you don't wanna see that, you can close that. So Taskade is primarily free. At least everything we're doing here is free. If you want to place files within your project that's more than five megabytes and less than 250 megabytes, you're gonna have to upgrade to the paid plan, which is $5 a month right now. And that's very, very affordable compared to other plans that I've pretty much seen in the past. And I had some interest in it, in it and the pricing was just a little bit too much for what I was capable of paying. But this is really, great if you're just starting out. If I'm just recording a video here, I'll be looking at the camera and then a pause, look at the notes, come back to the camera. And that's pretty much how the whole thing gets done. And then we're done. And then there's the buy at the end. And that is that. So thank you to Taskade for sponsoring this video. This is a great app for planning YouTube videos or pretty much doing anything, even as a small business, or if you have your own website, Twitch, YouTube, Instagram, any kind of content creation process can be done on here because there's templates. You can just do whatever you need to do on your template and that will be how you use it going forward. Of course, as your business evolves and your channel or whatever evolves, you can change your templates, add more and more systems as you go along as well. But this video, template that I made will be linked down below if you want to check that out. And if you found it helpful, please let me know. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. If you stuck it this far, good luck on starting your YouTube channel. And if you have started one, feel free to join our Discord, post yourself in the self-promotion tab, and I can't wait to check it out. Hope this was helpful for you. And thanks so much for being here. Bye!